The man in black fled across the desert, and the gunslinger followed. Why couldn't you just start with that? Should I just do this entire review in a Matthew McConaughey voice? Yeah, the Dark Tower is written by... It's written by Akiva Goldsman. And it's directed by Nikolai Jarcel. We don't have chicken on my world. No, I'm not gonna do that. So, The Dark Tower is directed by Nicolaj Arcel, and I believe it's written by Akiva Goldsman, who had a part in King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. That was a movie I, I kind of liked. It was okay. But Dark Tower, on the other hand, is a movie I did not like very much. I'd say this movie is very down on my list, but there's one other movie that's very down on my list of movies this year that I kind of didn't like, and the review for that's coming out soon. So, this movie is about the, the story of Jake Chambers and Roland Chain, who are on their way to defend the Dark Tower or stop the forces of the Man in Black from destroying it. The Man in Black is played by Matthew McConaughey, who has starred in Interstellar, which is, I don't know how that movie is, I haven't seen it. I heard it's pretty good. So, Man in Black is in a very intimidating villain. The only time he's in intimidating, I believe, is during the start of the movie, where he's a little creepy. And there's other parts in the movie where he's creepy, but they aren't. He, has, he doesn't bring back that same charm he had in the beginning. And it wasn't really a charm to begin with, but like, I guess he kind of had something going on. And I don't know. Matthew McConaughey said the script was supposed to be good, but the script really isn't good for this movie at all. It's a horrible script, by the way. I believe it went through a few rewrites by the two. So, the Gunslinger is the saving grace of this movie. Jake Chambers is the guy who plays him. I don't know his name, Tom Taylor, something like that. But Idris Elba does a really good job as the gunslinger in this movie. And I feel like if they had censored the movie more around him, we could have gotten a way better movie or end product. I'm not going to go much into story or details in this movie. I will discuss one scene that was very pivotal to the plot, and it's the scene where Matthew McConaughey is in Jake Chambers' home cooking a chicken dinner for himself. Very pivotal, very well done scene. Very well acted, very well directed, very well everything. Everything is so good about that scene. If you couldn't tell by my sarcasm, I'm joking. That scene is horrible. It doesn't have any place in the movie at all. It takes away from the darkness of the Man in Black. Very clever name, by the way, Man in Black. So, I guess this movie probably should have been like a few... I don't know. If they had overhauled the entire movie, changed it up, I feel like this could have easily been like a two hour, 30 minute movie, like detailing the first book. Because I don't know much about the first book, but from what I read, it's quite short and I think it's well fit to be adapted into a two hour, 30 minute long movie. Also could have been very epic. This movie was not epic at all. There was one great fight scene near the end where the gunslinger takes down a bunch of the Man in Black's men. And it's a very good scene. A very good scene. If there were more scenes like that, maybe this movie could have been better. But no, it's a steaming hot pile of garbage that deserves to die in the pits of rotting flesh that the man in black gets his henchmen's faces from. I was gonna say something else, but I can't I can't do that. I have children watching probably. <sighs> so this movie's probably gonna end up on Netflix soon. And it's just it's, it's probably gonna end up on Netflix, and people are gonna watch it and be like, "Hey, that movie's alright," without knowing much about the books. I didn't know much about the books beforehand, but you know, I did look into it, and I, I plan on reading *The Gunslinger*, the first book in the series, so I can fully understand the movie, or I can just compare it to the movie, trash the movie, and love the book. I'm probably gonna end up doing that instead. This movie was a waste of my money, by the way. I could have easily gone to see something else. I could have saw the I could have saw the emoji movie with that money. Oh wait a second. I did see the emoji movie. Haha, uh, yes. This movie gets a two out of five stars from me. It's not a good movie. Really, really not a good movie. Like, I've heard people saying that like, you know, if you're not a fan of the books, you're probably gonna like it because it's better for the general audience. I'm a general audience member, I don't know much about the books, but the movie's still bad, and the writing is still atrocious at parts. And it's overall just a movie that should have been left alone. Or, you know, maybe they could have just done that TV series that they're doing with that Walking Dead showrunner instead of this. 
because this is kind of a mess. So yeah, movie's bad. That's my point. That's all I have to say. Ugh.